It smells so nice up here. Was that, was that Haley Williams? Don't worry, Haley. We stayed 100 feet away like we're supposed to. I love her so much. It is now time for the unveiling of the 2015 Icon Award recipients, presented by Artery Recordings. Please welcome to the stage Warp Tour founder and the main reason most of us have careers here tonight, Kevin Lyman! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! by AP to present this award tonight. It was one of those goose mup moments that I get whenever I was at working one of their shows, or most recently returning to see them as a true fan. The band spoke to, the, the, to me like other bands performing tonight speak to you. Their words touched my soul and spurred an emotion that changed my life. Growing up in Southern California and graduating high school in the late 70s, one of my first exposures to punk rock was this band. At that point, the Southern California punk scene had its factions and it could get a little violent at times. However, the one show where we felt united is when this band played. I first went to their shows as a fan and then as my career started, I got to work with them many times at Southern California venues like the Palladium, John Anson Ford Theater, the Palace, Fenders, Ballroom, and many more. At that point, I was working 300 plus shows a year, and every time they played, I looked forward to working these shows with that special feeling you get when you realize how lucky you are to do the something you love. On those, night, on those nights, I would work the barricade, catching the crowd as they poured over, singing along with a smile on my face, the same way you now sing along to your favorite bands. Songs like Johnny Hit and Run Pauline, White Girl, Soul Kitchen, and the one we would sing the loudest, Los Angeles. For that moment, we were a united city and scene. As all bands that endure, the road is never always smooth. The band went through the hiatuses and side projects, the trials of the lifestyle we choose, but ultimately realizing they are truly comfortable with each other and the music they create. The last time I saw them live was at South by Southwest at the Mohawk. It was the one must-see show of the week. I was, I was there early and worked my way to the front, of the bear, front row to once again sing along and get this feeling that I got every time I saw them. After the set, I went to the side of the stage to say hello to John and Xene. And as we stepped out of the backstage door, we got caught up into the chaos of the car accident that would cost many bystanders their lives. I am sure some of those victims were with me singing along at that moment. For once in my life, I didn't know what to do. I think all of us went into our own state of shock. John and Xene went back into the venue as I wandered away, not being able to process what happened and feeling helpless. Being a survivor is what it becomes about at times, and this band epitomizes to me what it was like to survive growing up and making it through to adulthood with your integrity and class intact. Hi, I'm here with X, and this is John Doe and Billy Zoom, and X-Scene, and DJ Bonebrook. Icon Award, presented by Artery Recordings. Please keep guitarist Billy Zoom in your thoughts and prayers as the band faces another challenging time. For more information on how to help Billy Zoom cancer, it can't, his, in his battle with cancer, please visit GoFundMe.com right now. With that, I am honored to present the Artery Recordings Icon Award to the legendary X. <laughs>
First of all, we'd like to thank AP for giving this award. Second of all, we'd like to dedicate, dedicate this to all the musicians, the punk rock musicians in LA that are here and those that are not, those that have survived and those that haven't. And uh, to all my band members, DJ, Xene, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And for Billy, who can't be here tonight, and thank you very much. I don't have much more to say. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. <laughs>